Good morning, friends. It's a very overcast gray day here, unusually so, in Ahi, Jalisco, Mexico. Usually we have sunny days. I don't know what the number is, but 300 and some sunny days a year. But look at this. This is unusual. Gray and overcast. It's May, and usually it doesn't rain until middle of June, but it rained yesterday too. The weather is changing. For years here, it would never rain this time of year. You wouldn't have any rain from October until, oh, about middle of June. Anyway, I got my BMW back, and uh, today I got my dash cam hooked up, and I thought to make a little video for you, I would just take a drive around town. So let's go for a ride. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, we have some new speed bumps here. Fortunately, they're those kind that uh, you don't have to slow down to a dead stop. Last year when we came home, uh, they had redone the highways all the way from Chapala to Hokotepec, and there weren't any speed bumps. Uh, speed bumps are just part of living in Mexico. Uh, in Spanish, it, they're called topis. And they're all over the country, everywhere, topes. Traffic's not terrible today. It's Saturday morning. And, uh... We're going to turn right here to the right. This is Main Street in Ahihik, Cologne. Years ago, the red building on the left used to be a nightclub called the Taliban. We always called it the Taliban. Spent a lot. A lot of evenings in there, enjoying the music and the good food. It's now a real estate office for several years. The old church is here on the left. I believe 
the construction started in 1541, somewhere around there, a long time ago. The bank, Bank Holden. Go straight on down to the lake. Oh, there's a new OXO. in the morning it's eight o'clock this place will be much more lively a little later but traffic can get bad so I've come out a little early the pier the malacone some construction going on there In 2006, two hurricanes, one from the Caribbean and one from the Pacific, met up here in the mountains, filled up the lake with water, and those teeter totters were in the water. I have a video somewhere, I should dig it out for you, where kids were teeter tottering and as the one went down low, he'd splash the water. They've since built up the Malacone. It was lower at that time. Probably it'll never happen again. The skateboard park here. place back there to buy uh, printer ink or they'll fill cartridges for you. Always reminds me of years ago when uh, I was coming and going from Portland, Oregon to Mexico and I bought a inkjet printer and my brother-in-law said 
you're crazy taking an inkjet printer to Mexico where are you ever going to get the ink cartridges because Mexico is a third world country where you would have trouble finding anything modern correct <laughs> and my answer to him was well let's see uh, I might go to uh, Best Buy or um, Office Depot uh, I might even just go to the kiosk down by the telephone company where they refill the ink cartridges the chameleon bar my first trip here I was in the plaza Lynn and I and we were kind of standing there and talking to each other quietly but about whether or not it would be safe to eat a hot dog on the plaza and a lady named Michelle who uh, turned out to be a nurse and um, an American who had lived here for like 30 some years at that time spoke to us in English and said yeah it'd be okay to eat a hot dog there and we became friends but that night she walked us around and one of the places she took us was the chameleon bar and we're sitting in there and I was telling a story about having gotten stopped by the officer at that intersection by what is now Walmart in La Floresta and I made a, a left turn without waiting for the green arrow to turn left and it's a common thing for new people here and the cops used to sit right there and get all the new people in town pay a little more dita. Well, I was telling the story and about how nervous I was the first time I ever had to pay a more dita or attempted to and that I thought I was probably going to go to jail for bribing an officer. Mordita, if you don't know, is the literal translation is the little bite and it's the little bit of money you might pay to an officer. <laughs> curious that I'm following the La Floresta police while I'm telling this story. Uh, a little bit of money you might pay to an officer, a little bite out of your billfold. Uh, Mordita, instead of him giving you a ticket. So that happened, and I was saying that I had paid uh, a couple hundred pesos, and they were all laughing at me for having paid too much at that time. This is 20 years ago. Mordita is highly discouraged these days, and uh, we don't do that anymore, but like I said, that was 20 years ago. I have another La Floresta story. La Floresta Police. I may have told this story before, so if you've been watching my videos for three or four years, you might have heard this story before, but we bought a uh, old motorhome and came down to Mexico and we rented a house and I wanted to store the motorhome at the house. I'll sh I'm actually going to drive up by the house, I'll show you the house, but the deal is that it had two driveways and I was towing my Suzuki sidekick with my old uh, 1988 Southwind 33 foot motorhome. One driveway went into a garage where I could park my Suzuki sidekick Jeep, and the other driveway was outside the wall of the yard, but uh, it was long enough that I could park my motorhome off of the street. This is uh, La Floresta, by the way. And up here on the corner, I'll show you the house I'm talking about. Anyway, there was a tree limb hanging over the driveway, and it prevented me from backing all the way in with my 
my motor. So I got permission from the owner to trim the tree. And I'm out there with uh, my little saw and I'm working on it. And the neighbor, whom I've never met before, comes out. I'm standing on the top of my motorhome trying to saw this tree off, tree limb off. I'm going around the corner here because I'm going to show you exactly the driveway I'm talking about. It was this driveway right here and that tree right there. Well, anyway, my neighbor from that White House over there comes out, his name is Dick, and Dick says, uh, I've got a bigger saw if you want to use it. So he goes and gets his bigger saw and we saw this limb off and then we look at the tree and it seems like, well, maybe we ought to take one off over there to kind of balance the tree. And, we're not arborists or professional tree trimmers, but we're trying to do our best for the tree. And pretty soon we've got a nice sized pile of limbs and the La Floresta police comes along. A little Volkswagen bug. And the guy says, uh, what are you doing? You can't be trimming these trees. The tree doesn't belong to you. This tree is part of the La Floresta, and trees actually belong to the federal government. You need a permit to trim the tree. Anyway, he says, uh, I'm going to call this in. So he calls, and pretty soon he hands me a police radio, and uh, it's like a walkie-talkie. <clears throat> the guy on the other side says, I am the captain of the law police La Floresta Police Force, and I will arrive shortly upon the scene to assess the damages you've caused. Okay. La Floresta is nice. You know, we lived here for six months, and we got tired of staring at the inside of our own walls, because every place is a wall. Anyway, so... We're standing there and think, well, let's pile all the, the big limbs over there and put all the little limbs on top of them. And we put away the big saw, and I'm standing in the middle of the street with my tiny little saw awaiting my fate when the pickup arrives with two ninja costumed guys with AK 47s in the back of the pickup. And they arrive and a guy in a three-piece suit gets out and starts walking towards me and I extend my hand ready to meet my fate for having trimmed trees without a permit. And he walks right past me and shakes my neighbor Dick's hand and apologizes if he's caused us any troubles. Gets back in the pickup and he and the ninja force leave. Dick, what's going on here? He said, uh, I forgot to tell you, my wife's on the board of directors for La Foresta, and she hired him. So, I guess the moral of the story is, let's go this way, we'll go to San Antonio. San Antonio Tlaxo. The moral of the story is, like anywhere else in the world, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I have another tree trimming story while I'm thinking about it, and we're just riding around. When I bought my property, and then I finally got possession but not title yet to my second property there were a number of trees on there that it prevented me from again having room to park my old motorhome so I needed to trim some trees and, um, actually remove some trees hey if you like me give me one of those thumbs up 
and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.